Well, Luke, fantastic to catch up with you. A very special day here, Sussex put on for you, quite rightly, after everything you've achieved at the club. Uh, a very special day and one you must be you know, very much looking forward to and be proud to be part of. Yeah, I think it's generally a moment in any sportsman's career they always worried about. But um, look, it was the right, it was definitely the right time for me to move on, and, and same for the club. And for them to put on this today for me, you know, one shows what the club's all about. But you know, this club is probably home. 19 years um, has been really special. You know, there's nothing better than days like today when the sun's out, um, trying to entertain the crowd. And I've loved every minute of it. I feel very privileged that I, you know, I played here for 19 years. Back to 2004, of course. Sussex had just won the championship. We're really building something, the likes of Grizz, uh, Murray Goodwin, Mushy of course all here, you came along and of course what a lot of people won't remember when you came from Leicester it really was an all-rounder and I think a lot of people at the time were expecting most of your contribution to come with the ball and of course a whole generation have seen something completely different. Yeah absolutely I mean it's how you get in the team and I when Pete first picked me it was batting nine and being a bowler and uh, you know I just feel so lucky that I got to play with that senior bunch of players like you know they were so good for me you know coaches were amazing but those players to play with and you're winning something so I was able to make all my mistakes I suppose as a young player almost sort of go under the radar a little bit but I learned so much playing with that you know bunch of players and it was something that set me up really for the rest of my career um, and it was something I loved then giving back to, to the other youngsters as I became older but I, you know I, there's not really any time I can look back other than just with fondness you know I, when I signed down here all those years ago you know I never thought I'd be here for 19 years uh, but look what an incredibly special place I've loved every minute of it and you know it was definitely with sadness that I wasn't going to be still here but um, it was time to go and obviously so many special innings so many special days um, not only of course that era where the championship came second home here at Hove but then went on to be white ball champions and so many trophies what are the days you remember fondly because there must be so many and not only with Sussex of course with England Oh, it's, it's, it's when you win things as a team. Um, you know, people always will come talk to me sometimes about individual innings that I've had, and look, they're lovely, but there's nothing beats winning a trophy. You know, those moments at Lords when you're all together, the celebrations, winning championships. You know, we win waiting the longest day when we're waiting to find out if we we're going to get the championship. Those days are just so special, and you have the bond with players for the rest of your lives. You know, a lot of with cricket, you don't see each other a lot once you finish or go in your own diff different directions, but the moment you see each other, you just have that special bond, you know, and they're the ones I always will look back fondly. The trophies we won here was incredibly special. Uh, you know, I'd love nothing more to see this next crop of players eventually go on and do that as well. And of course, you've mentioned you had that spell where you were the newbie, you came in, you had those stars. And of course, over the last probably five, six, ten years, you've been that player that a lot have looked up to. So you've kind of had every role. Absolutely, and that you know, that's where you've got to be patient with young guys. You know, it's obviously, especially even in this T20 team, there's some young guys. It's a new opening partnership. I was just talking to Tom Clark there about batting. Look, you know, he's going to make mistakes, but we all did. I mean, people just sometimes remember what you did for the back half of your career. They forget all the mistakes and the times that I was getting told off by Mark Robinson and uh, Murray Goodwin about some of my shot selection. It was horrendous at times, but look, that's that's the learning and that's the journey. Um, but you know, you that you have to go through that, and that's what becoming a senior your players and look there's no doubt these guys are going to get there as well and obviously you've had a bit of time now having stopped playing obviously moving on to other things coaching and selecting obviously very much what's going to be a selector but clearly no regret from making that decision it was clearly the right time for you no absolutely it was um, you know when the role came up being England selector one it was like you know I pinched me moment it was obviously a huge huge honour to to be offered that but I think it was it was a great time for myself and the club really it was time to move on um, and I feel very privileged in that I think you know I feel sorry for people when it's time to give up or they get the tap on the shoulder to, to finish and they still have a lot more to give that's when it's really tough so you know I can turn up here today and very happily sit with a beer in hand and, and, and watch the guys and celebrate some of the next performances we're going to see. Well, everyone at Sussex, I mean, I've had the pleasure of being here the whole of your career. I know I don't look old enough, but it has been a uh, fantastic time. Uh, so many happy memories, and I know on everyone at Sussex, staff, uh, spectators, and I'm sure all the players wish you every success, not only with that uh, selection uh, and working with England, but every other opportunity that you get that will be well-deserved coming up. Yeah, if I can just say one thing to, to all the members and fans, just a, a massive thank you, and, and obviously the staff and the players, but I think for the members throughout my time have always been incredibly lovely to me. You know, I love being around the ground knowing all the staff here uh, by first names. You don't always get that at, at bigger counties, they say, but look, everyone connected with the club has been, been so kind to me since the start and made it why I love the place, so thank you very much.